Hey guys, today we're doing Train Tuesday. So the other guy, his name is Alex, who normally does Train Tuesdays. He wasn't able to do it. He didn't, number one, he didn't have any ideas. Number two, he didn't have a video prepared and stuff. So, yeah. So I'm taking it over for this week. You'll hopefully see him on Friday. Or maybe next week, I don't know. But see him soon. Within the next couple of videos. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, today I was going to show you how to do two train whistles. One of them I only learned how to do earlier. And I'm still not very good at it. But I'm still going to teach you how to do it. And the other one, it's very easy. So, the first one is... That one, what you do is you whistle and you hum at the same time. So, very easy. I can't do it while sucking in, but I can do it while blowing out. And the other one is you do your hands, you do this. Make sure that there are no air stuff. You blow on your knuckles right there, like that. And you just adjust that little hole right there. You just adjust it. And just blowing it until you get a whistle sound. And it should just sound like that. I just realized another one. Uh, wait, let me find this one thing. I just realized an ocarina. Sounds like a, like a, a train whistle, like, <laughs> that whistle wasn't as good as the first one, but, like, what you do is you just cover, wait, see if I can cover So what you do is you get an ocarina, do these two holes, all of the holes that are on here. And play low and you should get a train whistle sound. So yeah. Those are all the train whistles, except for, you know, getting an actual train whistle and doing that. But that's how to make train whistles. You can also do it with other instruments, like tubas, that kind of stuff. But, yeah. So, yeah, bye. Uh, sorry that the other guy... Uh, sorry that Alex couldn't do it. But I'm doing... I'm taking it over for this week. See you next, actually see you tomorrow for the Whiteboard Wednesday. Bye.